right, Scotty, what are you doing? Well, we have an issue, as we all know, the passenger side brake light doesn't work. So I'm digging and digging and digging because I didn't wire this half. I tapped into what was already there. Okay, so we know driver's side works. That's good, not a problem. Watch passenger side. <laughs> we got a brake light. So that was the connector that you found that they had together from previous. Yep. So now that I'm back here, well, I'm gonna take a better look and see what we've got. Pretty. Pretty effing ugly. I mean, this is utterly, utterly the most disgusting wiring job I've ever seen. Well, yeah, you know, you saw the videos of me pulling out the rat's nest underneath the dash. Yeah. So I'm only going to assume. I mean, you guys see this. This is this is all old stuff covered in dust. I I, I don't get it. If you can't do that, you know what? I'm I'm game. I want to see something a minute. If you can't do the job properly, or at least with a certain amount of ethical safety for your client. God, this has been here for quite a while. I'm almost afraid to see how they did this. Uh oh. Wires ready to break. Hey, no littering in class. Right, I know, no littering in class. I got, dude, I, I, I barely got to the first one. Y'all can see that, right? Yeah. Look at how bad that wire is. So we're connected here. We're connected here with a, I don't know what. Here's another connection. Why would you do that when you could have made your connection a lot more, a lot shorter, a lot prettier? It's not that hard. So now I have to completely redo all of the wiring here, all of the wiring here, so that it is proper, with proper connections. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, this message goes specifically to a mechanic. If you're a mechanic and you're working on a car, why do you do half-assed jobs? Why do you cut corners? No, I'm not stating I'm perfect. I made my mistakes in my time. In the 38 years I've been working on cars, I've made my mistakes. I'll throw myself under the bus. I gotta diagnose my own issue with the, the headlights. Throw myself under the bus, fair and square. Yeah, but at least, at least you're catching in there. Right, exactly, and, 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 but the <clears> problem <throat> is, if you're gonna do the job, do it once, do it right. Everybody in the shop double checks us. Everybody in the shop double checks me. I'm not embarrassed to say, hey, there's nothing wrong with someone double checking me. I'm not embarrassed about that. Not in any way, shape, or form. You don't grow and become better as a mechanic if you don't have someone look at you and go, hey, are you sure that's perfect? Are you sure? Yeah. Go back and double check. Bobby and you have double checked my work before. I, I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. Vice, I'm only vice, human. Vice versa. You know, but it's like, guys, come on. This... This is an 18-year-old kid trying to get something to work right. That's exactly what that is. Nothing more, nothing less, because there is nothing about that, those connections on either side that are even remotely responsibly done. No. None. No hink trap, no, no, nothing. No. You don't use this type of connector, and if you do, you heat shrink it. 
You see the wires. You see how bad that wire is? It takes five seconds. I mean, look at this one. That's, no That's ridiculous. <sighs> Guys, please. We have to eradicate this type of behavior in mechanics. We just do. I went and looked at on my lunch break. I'm not going to get into the specifics or call the, the person out by no means. They had me look at a 2017 Range Rover HSV V6 supercharged. Absolutely gorgeous. 400, I think it's 442 pound feet of torque, 293 horsepower. So not, oh my God, on the horsepower range, but the torque. Oh my God, that's a torque monster. It was beautiful. So you got it underneath it. Oh God. Northern vehicle from like Boston, New York City, New Jersey area. The underside was destroyed. Now, like I said, I'm not saying the, the place. I'm not even saying what it was. But that was disgusting. They tried taking this person for over 40 grand. For a rust bucket? For a rust bucket. What? Thank God the guy had the intelligence enough to call any mechanic, a mechanic, someone. Well, I happen to know him personally. So he's like, hey, can you, not a problem. I'm on my way. Yep. So as I'm looking, he shows me his other car, which is an absolutely stunning, stunning 1976 Jaguar XJS V12 convertible. Nice. Original owner, 42,000 original miles. That's what I'm talking about. Garage kept, taken care of. He goes, Scotty, can you take a look? Yeah, of course I can. The mechanic broke factory pieces to get his air conditioning working and then screwed it into the leather. We have to eradicate this behavior, people. We have to. Mechanics are paid really good money to do a job properly, not half-assed. Yep. That's why we video everything so the customers can see the type of quality work. If you don't like what we're doing, then, of course, take it someplace else. And I agree with that. But we don't. We don't do this. We just don't. But to the owners of the car, I made a promise, and I'm going to keep that promise. This car will be as right as I can possibly get it. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go back to work. I'm going to make this thing pretty.